I'm going to make a video here about uh, cutting down this exhaust. I'm going to turn this DMD into a shorty. I don't long, like how uh, long it is right now. It's uh, 16 inches total uh, can size, not including the tip. Uh, I'm going to cut it down about 6 inches. Um, so it'll bring it in further and it'll put it about there. Um, so we're just going to do a little before and after comparison, uh, which you know what it sounds like beforehand. And then we'll, uh, I'll do some filming while I'm in the cut and, uh, and we'll do the after as well. So here's the before. So I removed the pipe from the bike. I've uh, drilled out these rivets, but the end cap down here is proving harder to get off than I thought. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make my cut, and uh, then I'm gonna just probably cut this piece of the pipe off so I can just remove this cap, and then I'm gonna put the cap back on here. I'm using the, the chrome holding strap uh, as my guideline, and I'm just gonna cut right through uh, here. That'll take off the six inches. Um, that I want to remove from the pipe. I'll adjust this later, move that, slide that back down, put the end cap on, drill the holes, and um, we'll go from there. coming. So I'm done with my cutting for now. I was able to get the, the pipe cut to the length I wanted. I, I sawed all the way through, went through the, the center core and it all came out in one piece, um, which I tapped out with a rubber mallet. So the end cap came off, but the, um, the inside baffle was actually welded in place on the back. Thank you, D&D. &D. Um, no reason for that, but it was welded in place. So I spent some time with a Dremel and a cutting tool, uh, cutting it down and um, smoothing it out. So. Now this piece, once I clean up the edges, uh, get some of the dirt out of there, I've got a little RTV silicone compound I'll put on there. Um, I'm going to do a test fit you know, later on to make sure it should slide right in here and I'll just, uh, the inside of the baffle will slide right over the outside ring here and I'm not going to worry about um, welding it or anything like that. Um, my dirt bike doesn't have it welded together, I don't know why this one would have to. Um, but I'll put some RTV around the outer edge. I'll mark the holes where I need to drill and uh, then pop in my rivets using my little rivet gun that I bought today and we'll go from there. Done with the cutting, I've put the end cap back on. It was tougher than I thought it was going to be because the inner baffle didn't want to line up with the collar inside the end cap, but a little finesse, a little, just a little patience and it worked out. Um, got the end cap in place, used a high temp silicone uh, around the seal here, and then I had I drilled my holes uh, and put the rivets in place. So I'll take a look on the video at that. See it came out pretty good. So now I'm going to take some polish and clean up the surface, um, and then I'm going to put it back on the bike and we'll take a look at... Uh, we'll start up and see how it sounds. That's how much came off the old pipe. 
So you can see that's a pretty big cut, but I uh, compared to what it was before, that's old pipe, and that's new pipe. So um, definitely like the size. Can't wait to see what it looks like on the bike. We'll see that next. Here's the pipe back on the bike. It's been shortened six inches. I polished it up while I had it off the uh, off the bike and on my workbench. It came out really nice. Just as a reminder, this is how much I took off. That's where the old pipe went with the tip out here. That's where it is now. Let's start it up and see how it sounds. Definitely a lot louder than it was before. And there's a the finished product. Pretty cool.